Twilight, y'all done it up nice and cozy in here. We're about to hang our hearth swarming dolls if you want to join us. Well, that's mighty sweet of you, but we're just stopping in to wish y'all a happy hearth swarming before we go. I think it's sweet that your families are spending the holiday together. Picture the most fun-tacular thing you can think of. Now multiply that times infinity. Ah, it's gonna be great! That's us. See you later. Now can we open presents? But tonight is Hearth Swarming Eve. Every pony knows you don't open presents till tomorrow. When Spike and I spent our first Hearth Swarming Eve together, he couldn't wait all night to open his presents. Ever since then, we've always opened them the night before. It's kind of like our tradition. That's not how our family does it. And I reckon it can't be how Pinky's does it. Is it? No, sir. -ee! To each their own, I suppose. <laughs> Just what I always wanted. A book. My little pony, my little pony. Tons of fun. A beautiful heart, faithful and strong. Sharing kindness. It's an easy feat. And magic makes it all complete. To have mine. Do you know you are my very best friends? Chancellor Pudding Head Puddings, how about a Windigo Frosted Snow Cone? It's so exciting. Related or not, it's gonna be a hoot having our families together under one roof. Apples and pies together again for the first time! Maybe. Unless we're related, which maybe we're not. I think I just confused myself. Friends or family, this here's about togetherness. Have you tried the Equestria Flight Crepes? The blue is blueberry! And don't tell Granny I saw, but her trunk is full of presents! Now hang on, Sugar Cube. You know Hearth Swarming isn't just about candy and presents, right? Uh-oh. That's your boring sisterly lecture voice. Afraid so. <clears throat> A long time ago, the Earth Ponies, Pegasus Ponies, and Unicorn Ponies weren't friends. I don't like you! I don't like you either! But then, the icy chill of the Wendigos almost iced up everything. So the Ponies decided to work together and their friendship drove them nasty critters away. Beat it, Windigos! Triumphant, they raised a new flag to celebrate all three tribes, and Equestria was born. Uh, what happened to the flag? I don't know. Is that why we celebrate with a flag raising tomorrow? Mm-hmm. And tonight, we'll have the traditional Hearts Warm and Eve dinner to remember the shared bounties of our ancestors. We do that, too. Then, we'll hang our hearth warming dolls over the fireplace to remind us of the warmth shared on that faithful night. That's what our family does, too. And tomorrow, we open presents. Oh, we do that, too. It sounds like the apples and the pies do everything the same way. Of, of course. course. We, we might, might be related. Hey, I, I was, was going to say, say that. that. Stop, stop saying, saying what, what I'm saying. saying. You, you stop, stop it first. <laughs> I'm so happy, I need to make up a new word for how happy I am. What about rooftastic? Rooftastic? As in, I gotta get on the roof and yell to everybody how rooftastic this is! What if our families don't like each other? We are friends, Applejack, and after tonight, our families are going to be friends, too. Do you know what that means? Number of apples times number of pies is 24 minus my pre-existing friendships plus one for Mon and you makes five from 24 is... <gasps> 19 new friendships! Mon! 
I'm so excited to see you, Pinkie Pie. You too, Applejack. I hope you had fun sledding yesterday. How'd you know that? Isn't it obvious? There's specks of extrusive andesite on your hoof. It's a mountain rock. Oh, she's good. How's school going? If you thought quartz was high on the Mohs hardness scale, wait till I tell you about corundum. I miss you so much! <laughs> This looks amazing. Come on, everypony. Be my super mega thunderful family. Everypony, meet everypony. Surely thy name is not but Granny Smith. I am called Igneous Rock Pie, son of Feldspar Granite Pie. Thou shalt know me as Cloudy Quartz. May Providence favor thee well, and to thou comfort our humble homestead bring. Y'all gabbing with words real funny like. Eh, well, well, what you say them names were? Iggy? And I'm, I'm just gonna call you Big Mama Q. Gaze into the eyes of Limestone Pie. Ma and Pa may own this rock farm, but I keep it running. Cross me and... I no one's gonna mess with your precious mind. Or Holder's Boulder. <sighs> Every pony stay away from Holder's Boulder. There, you happy now? And you must be... This is Marble Pie, my baby sister who's only a few minutes younger than me, but she'll always be a baby to me, isn't that right? She's so excited to meet Every Pony. Oh, and she wishes you all a happy heart swarming. Guess Pinkie Pie always did the talking for her. <laughs> Attention! What I say about the boulder? I'll just be a second. Every pony, get settled in. There's plenty of room upstairs, and then it's time for heart swarming Eve dinner. So far, so good, cousin. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to taste their fresh sweet rolls. They're my favorite part of Heart's Warm Eve dinner. I'm more of a six-layer bean dip filly myself. I love that too. Oh, Applejack, do you think those will be even better than ours? Oh, that's a mighty tall order, but it wouldn't surprise me in the least. Are you excited for dinner time? Because guess who is? Spoiler alert, it's me! And mold cider and double baked pot pie. What wait about six layer bean dip. We have rock soup. Potato, potato, double baked pot pie, rock soup. Dinner is dinner. Am I right or am I right? Yeah. Um, you know what? This is what we were expecting. Right, every pony? Bye. <laughs> Is everything all right, Applejack? Of course. I'm just being a rusty fiddle. Tune me up and let's get back to dinner. Now that's something I know all about. Who wants a heart swarming doll? Are you saying that rock is a heart swarming doll? Don't be silly, silly. Our dolls are these little pieces. Isn't that right, Marble Pie? Mm hmm. Are dolls or rocks? Uh, Y'all don't have traditional crochet dolls passed down in your family? 
Oh, you're just a frown factory because you've got a weird rock. Cheer up! I'm sure you'll do great in the flag finding mission. What finding what now? Limestone Pie, you're the judge. Big Mac, Marble Pie, you're team one. Apple Bloom and Mod, you're team two. Ma, Pa, you're gonna be with Granny Smith. Don't think of it as team all. Think of it as team three. And I was Applejack, of course, since we might be cousins. So now that we're all split up, mind telling us what we're doing? As every pony knows, Staff Holder's Boulder! Sheesh. When the three tribes united to form Equestria, the first flag was sewn by Nimble Thimble. It's tradition to raise a flag on heart swarming to celebrate that famous day. Sure. Yeah. Away she goes. Mm -hmm. But who gets to put the flag on Holder's Boulder? You mean on the flagpole? No, silly. It goes on the highest point. And who's the lucky pony? Uh, traditionally, it's the youngest. On your mark, get set, go! Pinkie Pie, will you please tell us what's going on? I'll explain on the way. No! I still don't understand. Earlier today, Limestone Pie hit an obsidian stone. Whipper Pie gets to raise the flag. It's all just so complicated and rock based. Well, how else would we do it? I don't know. I sure hope every pony else is having a better time. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. So, how'd you meet this diggy feller? We were chosen by the Paring Stone and betrothed within a fortnight. The Choosing Stone decreed, thou shalt love one another. And lo, it was so. Hooey, I got to look into this old fangled choosing stone thing. Do you reckon it knows any apple farming hunks? Indeed mm. so. What does the rock look like? It looks like something that formed when volcanic lava cooled quickly. Oh. Have you ever wished you could turn into a rock? I had a dream once I was an apple. We have a lot in common when it comes to thinking about turning into things. for a real stone, Pinkie Pie. Um, that would be weird. Do you know what this means? I get to raise the flag, and now it's time to hide the presents. Y'all hide your presents? Of course. What's more fun than getting a present? Finding a present! Although, most years, no pony finds one. So, no pony gets presents? Eh, not usually. So, let me get all this straight. You're only allowed to eat rock soup for dinner. Then, the pony who finds this rock gets to raise the flag. But not really, because you don't got no flagpole. And to top it off, you don't even get presents? Well, doesn't sound very fun when you say it that way. Well, how about you picture this? Both our families opening presents, raising the flag. Picturing it? Loving it? Good night, everybody! Good night, Pinkie Pie. We gotta do something, y'all. Pinkie Pie's family never had a real hearts woman. Is that really what she said? Well, I I'm sure it's what she meant. These are their traditions. <laughs> yep. <sighs> I know they have their traditions, and we have ours, but I just want them to see how much better theirs could be. Pie. 
truly thou do not favor this madness. Well, I want to be one big family. But what about what we usually do? I, um, well, I don't know. Don't make me choose. I didn't mean to cause a fuss. Why don't we just open presents around the flagpole? It'll be fun. You'll see. Excuse me. You planted your pole on a fault line. to go. We don't need any pony forcing their way into our family. This was all a misunderstanding, every pony. I know Applejack, and she never do anything bad to any pony. Look around, Pinkie Pie. It's gonna take me ages to get this rock farm back on track. And how are we gonna lift Holder's boulder? This is all her fault. Then it's my fault, too. Probably best if we head back to Sweet Apple Acres. In the meantime, we'll be friends again. Yeah, but for the now, it's best if we give them a little space. I wish we didn't have to. I really like Maud. She's sweet once you get to know her. We all are. Worst hearth swarming ever. Hey, has any pony seen Applejack? <sighs> I really cracked the corn this time. I really popped the pinata this time. Pinkie Pie? Ah! What are you doing here? What are you doing here? Well, I, I came, came here, here to think. think. You, you did? did? So, so did, did I. I. <laughs> <laughs> I'm too ashamed to go back up there. Your family, my family, they all must think I'm such a nincompoop. Aw, no one thinks that. Pushy, aggressive, mean. Oh, I'm not helping. Sorry. I'm sorry I forced my traditions over yours. I don't want you to have to choose between the family you were born into and the friends who love you like one. I really hoped we could be one big happy family. I guess not. Don't say that! I wish I could stay, but I, I have a train to catch. <laughs> happy hearts for me. You too. know why Holder's board are so dang it important. <laughs> well, now, their great, 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 great father, Holder Cobblestone, he found that boulder in a dragon's nest, older than time itself. He built the family farm around it, even though it was just an ordinary rock. It's always brought them good luck. Oh, crickets. That is important. I got so caught up in the things they were doing, I never asked why they did them. <laughs> Two Applejack from Pinkie Pie. Cousins forever. You just found your first pie heart swarming present ever! <laughs> Only Pinkie Pie could hide a present on a moving train. What a great tradition! Stop the train! I'm pushing as hard as I can, too. Oh, it's hopeless! Need a little help? Apples! What do you want? I wasn't trying to take your traditions away. I was trying to share ours. I was so focused on us being one big happy family, I thought we needed the same traditions right away. What I should have done is learn about yours and teach you about ours. And over time, we'd make new traditions together. I'm sorry, y'all. Well, don't just stand there. We got a boulder to move. And I'm in charge. I think we just invented our first combined tradition. Pushing Holder's boulder out of the quarry. I can't wait for Apple.
Yep. Let me see here. If thou askest me, uh, thou too art uh, okay in my book. Pinkie Pie. Attention every pony! Maud wants to sing some heartwarming carols that she wrote! The first one is about rocks. They're all about rocks. Heartwarming is great, like calcium silicate. What a wonderful day, as good as mica or clay. <laughs> 